If you're familiar with my channel, you know how much I like to make top 10s of modified aircraft. The only problem is that all the time I've dealt with modified Boeings only. That's why today we're going to talk about the top 10 modified Airbus aircraft. Because the modified Airbus are very rare, make sure to watch until the end to find out some fascinating versions of the modified Airbus planes. If you're watching this video, it means you're awesome. So keep being awesome by subscribing to my channel to never miss an upload. Number 10. The A319 MPA The A319 MPA is a maritime surveillance twin jet derived from the passenger A319 we already know. It has a 4,200 nautical mile range and can carry up to 4,900 kilograms of torpedoes and air-to-air -air surface missiles. Those are fitted in the ventral canoes before and behind the main landing gear. Other missile hardpoints are fitted under the wings to accommodate more armament. If you have already watched my video about the top 10 modified Boeing 737s, you've probably spotted some similarities with one of the aircraft featured in that video. That's right, the A319 MPA is pretty similar to the Poseidon P8 derived from the Boeing 737. In fact, the A319 MPA was designed to compete with Boeing's P8 Poseidon. The aircraft also includes a retractable radar and electro-optical sensor turrets in its nose section. So many modifications that all together make this airplane an impressive flying war beast. Number 9. The A330 MRTT MRTT stands for Multi-Role Tanker Transport, and that's precisely what this huge monster is meant for. It is an aerial refueling tanker based on the passenger Airbus A330. Therefore, the most obvious visual modification that you would notice is on some of them, the underwing refueling pods. On some others, the standard aerial refueling boom system, or ARBS, or the hose and drogue system fitted at the aircraft tail. This behemoth can carry up to 111 tons of fuel and offload 50 tons of the fuel to various receivers during a four-hour loitering mission at over 1,000 nautical miles from its departure airport. These impressive figures have been proven and confirmed by the various operators of the aircraft as it succeeded 97% of the time. Speaking about its operators, there are currently 12 nations that have placed a firm order of 60 aircraft. So far, 46 of them have been delivered. Number 8. The A310G In 2014, this 498th A310 was acquired by Novaspace and joined the Bordeaux International Airport at 2015. You'll not necessarily spot any visual modifications from the outside, but this aircraft deserves its place on our top anyway, and here's why. It was specifically modified to perform parabolic flights and conduct various related scientific missions. The cabin walls, floor, and ceiling are specially padded to allow the passengers to safely fall after the aircraft pulls out of the parabolic arc. By the way, here's a fun fact about the pullout phase during which the pilots need to pull the control column. Because they also undergo the effects of weightlessness, they sometimes have trouble reaching the control column. They use a fabric cord loop fitted around their wrist and the control column to cope with this. In this way, they need to pull their hands to reach the control column and stabilize the pullout phase. Such a simple solution for such a complex maneuver. Number 7. The A380 Trent XWB97 Engine Testbed This is the first ever A380-800 built by Airbus, and it is used as a testbed to check various systems for the company's future projects. With an A380 as a testbed, which is Airbus's largest aircraft ever designed, the European manufacturer follows Boeing steps that have already extensively used its huge 747 for testing. One of the most noticeable appearances of this testbed was in 2015, when the Rolls-Royce Trent XWB-97 was mounted on the left inner engine pylon to test the handling performance of the future A350 engines. The aircraft performed an intense 4-hour flight during which different power settings, altitudes, maneuvers, and attitudes were tested. The Trent XWB produces 97,000 pounds of thrust on takeoff, making it the most powerful engine ever developed for an Airbus aircraft. You know what else is really powerful? Click it on that awesome shiny like button because the YouTube algorithm likes that button so, so much. Now let's move on to the next one. Number 6. The A310 MRT Medivac This A310 was specially modified for medical evacuations out of war zones. 
Inside the former passenger jet, you will find up to six state-of-the-art patient transport units capable of offering intensive care medicine for the wounded passengers. In addition to this, 38 other patients can be transported, although their place won't be fitted with intensive care units. This aircraft is literally a flying hospital. On March 28, 2020, the German Luftwaffe's Medivac transported six COVID-infected passengers from Bergamo, Italy to Cologne, Germany for treatment. Some of the multiple medical features of the Medivac are the same that can be found in a highly equipped hospital such as defibrillators, ventilators, syringe pumps, and so on. Number 5. The A350 Test Bed At Airbus, they surely know how to be proactive and anticipate the future. In fact, the manufacturer decided that it needs an actual flight laboratory where many of its future systems will be tested. For this matter, Airbus chose a brand new aircraft and precisely the latest passenger aircraft it has conceived. However, this is not the regular passenger A350 you will spot at the terminal. Along the air inlet of the aircraft, multiple optical fibers have been fitted. Other in-flight measurement systems have been placed and are ready to operate and support the manufacturer's in-flight research. An array of sensors, such as the Light Detection and Ranging, or LIDAR, and Optical Ice Detectors, will continuously monitor the various stages of flight and provide the engineers valuable data to improve their systems. Usually, testbed aircraft are old airframes, so I find it incredible that Airbus has opted for the latest airplane. I definitely think it will be game-changing for them. Number 4. The A320 and A321 Cargo Everyone knows the typical Airbus cargo airplane, the A330. But considering the A320's direct rival's popularity in the world of cargo, the 737, it was bizarre not to see an Airbus family cargo modification. To our greatest surprise, EASA has certified the 22nd of January 2020 the first ever A321 passenger to freighter A320 family aircraft, P2F. A cargo door has been fitted on the forward left side of the fuselage, resulting from ST engineering and Airbus cooperation. Overall, considering the cargo holds beneath the aircraft, the A321 P2F can carry over 27 tons of freight. Knowing that the A321 cargo is now a reality, operators will be able to replace their aging Boeing 757 with the A321 cargo, which provides an impressive 20% reduction in fuel consumption. Number 3. The A340 Trent 900 Engine Testbed On the 17th of May 2004, the engine designed to power the huge A380 was mounted on an A340-300 testbed for a series of intensive testing. The entire testing program of the Trent 900 consisted of 50 to 60 hours of tests spread out over four months. Only one Trent 900 produces 70,000 pounds of thrust, twice as much as each of the four 34,000 pounds of thrust CFM engines that normally power the A340-300. The engine was mounted on the left inner engine pylon and that you can't simply overlook. Its size emphasizes the huge contrast with the A340's engines which look very small. One could even think that the images are photoshopped. If you think that this big difference can interfere with the balance of the aircraft and its handling, then you are absolutely right. However, the mass and balance for these special test missions are formatted to take that into account. Besides, the aircraft is flown by very experienced test pilots who know the aircraft very well so they know how to handle it. Number 2. The A340 Blade The Blade Project, which stands through Breakthrough Laminar Aircraft Demonstrator, aims to assess the possibility of introducing laminar flow wings on commercial aircraft. Thanks to the highly smooth and clean wing services known as natural laminar airflow, the manufacturer aims to bring a 50% reduction of wing friction and up to 5% lower CO2 emission. The A340 blade is the first testbed in the world that ever took off, combining a transonic laminar wing profile with a standard aircraft primary structure. The visible modification that will strike you immediately is the odd shape of the outer wing. Additionally, you can also spot some extra pods at the wingtips. These are not part of the normal laminar wing design. They are only fitted for test purposes that house recording and measuring equipment. A wing fence separates the primary aircraft wing with the laminar flow section to prevent spanwise flow from disrupting the experimental sections. And here we go for what I believe is the most impressive modified Airbus aircraft of all times. If you've enjoyed this video so far, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. Number 1 the Airbus Beluga. 
The Airbus A300 600ST, also known as the Beluga, is one of modern times most outstanding cargo aircraft. It was developed from the Airbus A300-600 and was modified to accommodate aircraft parts and outsized cargo. If you pay close attention, the aircraft doesn't even have massive engines. This is because it was mostly designed to carry very bulky cargo that's not necessarily heavy, with a maximum payload mass of 47,000 kilograms. Yaw stability is granted by the two small vertical fins on each side of the horizontal stabilizer and a much bigger vertical stabilizer. As you can imagine, this aircraft is most aerodynamically inefficient, but it does its job perfectly on the distances it flies around Europe. A newer version has been developed from the A330 called the Beluga XL, which will gradually replace the old first-generation Belugas and offer over 30% extra transport capacity. I absolutely love the livery of the new Beluga XL. Have you ever seen any of these mutated Airbus airplanes in real life? Let me know in the comments down below. Want to watch more amazing Top 10 Aviation content? Click on any of the videos you see on your screen right now. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to never miss an upload. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.